Something feels odd here. All right. Be on your guard. Mountain Trail, Mount Diara. I almost read that as Mount Diarrhea for a second. Um. What do you say we fight that shining enemy? Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a shiny enemy. Those mean like more experience and stuff, right? Um. But yeah, so we can develop that if we uh go to campfires a bit more and grind it out and stuff like that. You thought the same thing too when you saw that title there? Boop. Oh, I need to use my actual, uh, my freaking boost thing robobs more often. Like this. Yes, we were able to hit that far one as well. Nice. That's what I was hoping for there. Okay, sure. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because we still haven't seen a lot of Dohalim's things. Have we even seen his boost art yet? Have we even seen that? I don't know if we have. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing that restrains them. Okay. The freaking strike animations in this are really, really good. Oh, we're gaining levels pretty fast here because I guess new area and such. Oh, and the thing's blue. I didn't even... Oh, I was about to say, how did it get up to there so fast? I guess it's because we fought the shiny enemy. If Doalim said Doalim and Rinwell, well, that one was definitely pretty nice there. This is a pain. Why can't this Zoogle stand still? Right. Ah, so now it's going to show the tutorial for that. Huh. Perhaps it's time I deploy my secret weapon. I'll stop it right where it stands. <laughs> Got Kassara right mid blink, so it looked like she was just so done with the situation. Doalim's boost attack. Prehender? Throws vines from the ground to ensnare enemies and strike them. Effective on fleet footed enemies. This nullifies their evasive abilities and downs them. Tutorial start. Okay. Hit two fast enemies with Doheling's boost attack. And press that to trigger his thing. Bonk. Guess it got them both. Cool. Ah, and then it puts the effect on the bottom of them. Interesting. Fast enemies like wolves or monkeys appear sudden in Doheling. His boost attack will nullify their evasive abilities and keep them from dodging attacks. Interesting. I love how everybody's boost attack has, like, a unique thing robot to it. Everybody has a unique field skill and all that fun stuff. <laughs> it's an interesting thing to be craving there, Mortis, but I don't know if I've had any, like, ever. Whoops. What am I doing? Can we build up all the way to strike here? Yep. The animations of this game are so dang good. Where? Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> it's like, where the heck is this guy? Oh, there's the answer. There is the answer. Got oh, another thing. There, I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? Uh -huh. What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What? You mean that pile of garbage? No pile of garbage? garbage? I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I call I'm this intrigued. one bold and brass. Uh, More like belongs in the trash. Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. Might adjust the volume a little bit more. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renin who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love- That was how I felt for that uh, Square Enix card thinking. game that was revealed the during the Direct. went into their creation. You see, we Renins have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make <laughs> nice sure freeze you're frame on that top it. panel. All right, Dohalim. But of course. I got Crocodile Crusher. Ages ago, this worn-down hammer was used to beat back crocodiles. Those skilled enough to dual wield with it were lauded as champions. Achievement unlocked. Dilentante. Artifacts. Artifacts can for a special effects simply by having them. Some of which serve as bonuses that can be enjoyed after clearing the game. We have the bonuses of, like, additional experience and stuff from the stupid Ultimate Edition thing. So we'll use effects on or off from the artifact effect list. 
So what was the one that we just got? You can now set six additional arts. Oh, press Y on the art screen to switch between panels. Arts that are set to the second panel can be executed by pressing LT and then the... One of my complaints about this was three isn't enough arts. Oh! Dolim, treasure hunter. Master AG recovery speeds up the rate of AG recovery. Oh! There's history in the air here. I can oh. smell it. I don't smell anything. Okay. Don't encourage um, him. Looks like it could be worth something. But yeah. These things are called artifacts, find it in guidebook that allows you to turn certain things on and off. Like, yeah, this is stuff that we already have with the thing where Bob and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't really say much, but found out through a guide on YouTube and figured it'd help mention it. Yeah, I mean, we got artifacts with uh, the Ultimate Edition already anyway. Woods don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Yoink. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wish to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. Is the frame rate okay? Frame rate's looking pretty all right, at least. Um, let's have a look-see here. Let's have a quick look. So... Okay. Yeah, let's see here. So... Oops. Huh. So yeah, that's LT plus those. So maybe I'll have like another pretty standard thing here. Like, uh... I don't know. Good old destruction? Probably not I didn't know about because you don't have the ultimate edition. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Sure. And then we can have the, uh... Where was that? There's that one. Plasma shock. And then we can have things like, uh... Those spicy things that I like to use it sometimes. Where's the, uh, water one? Howling Azure Storm. Yeah. We're gonna have that. Okay, sure. Let's try that out. Also. I guess we're going that way. So the way that I'm facing right now is a dead end first. So we'll go this way first to see what it has. Since it's a dead end first. So, scoozy. What is this? The answer is gold. Scoozy. Oh, I guess I can't sneak by there. Whatever. Whatever. You want us to stop? If I can get them both together with Doha Halim's boost attack, that'd be cool. Now I definitely can, right? Get them both? No, nope, I didn't get the one. Gosh darn it. Well, there's a... There's Law doing something about it. Why don't they just sit still as he immediately destroys them? Because he does Mystic Arts all the time. So let's see here. Whoops, that's LB. So yeah, I can now do stuff like that. It's, that's very, very nice. That is very nice. Stop. You are so mean, and you have so much health, too. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like the switching thing, Bob, there. It is schnice. Just in case I want to switch things up and do a different thing, Bob. Like, technically, you can use whatever art from the menu here, like, uh, you know, bada bing, bada boom. Use it, I guess. But that'd be hella slow. So it's nice to have the, uh, quick options there. Stop. Stop. You are rude. You are rude. You're in trouble, Law. Then get in the freaking healing circle. Again, I know this layout's better for battles. I didn't think this one would take super long, but, uh... <laughs> I love how one of our layouts is good for, like, the overworld, and another one's good for battles. If only there was one that just matched both. Like, maybe if both of our cameras were in, like, the... On, like, the left side. But then it wouldn't make sense for the way I'm facing... I just now noticed, looking over at my camera, my freaking corner lights aren't on. Whoops. There we go. Fix. There we go. There was a little bit of a lack of color in here. Sorry about that. Only just now noticed. I'm sorry, am I just ruping you, Jesse? I'm sorry. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, let's keep on schmoovin', I guess. Was there... No, I already took that. I already winked that thing. Can I just run by? It's I can't so just run by. Here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. Welcome That's to exploration. It can be pretty Yoink. tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with them, then? Oh, yeah. We used to run up and down these slopes. Still a very the time beautiful for our world. Exercises. Damn. You weren't messing around. 
when it came to like not messing around with training. I I actually recently went to my Taekwondo school to uh basically see about like can I get back into training here again soon because uh like I got injured with physio with physiotherapy. I got injured with Taekwondo with like my left wrist and uh Oh, I'll do the party chat here shortly. Um, I got my left wrist got injured as well as like my right hip and it was all weird. Speaking of, um, I uh, recently got a different brace for my uh, my left wrist that I've been trying out here and there lately. Is this and it keeps my keeps my freaking hand here if I undo it there way more secure than anything else that I've had before. Like it very much like I can't really bend the wrist much at all. Like that's as far as my movement goes really is like that like I can't I can't do stuff like that so that help that helps it out but after it was it was a take one when I was testing for my third degree black belt that uh all of a sudden my left wrist issue and my right hip issue started getting worse for a little while and uh my testing for third degree black belt kind of had to go on hold and I wasn't training as often and freaking can I hit this doodle please there we go. Jeez, I don't know what the heck was going on there. Um, I had to go on hold. Like, I was training way less frequently. Yeah, I'll see a bunch of Doa Elite ones. Since they're, like, what's new, I guess. Um, and I was stuck in physiotherapy for half a year. And then, right when I felt like I was starting to get a little bit better, which might not be the case anymore with things coming back, um, freaking COVID started. So for the past couple of years, I haven't really done serious training. About recently in previous stream about going back to Taekwondo more often. Yeah, and uh, probably Mario plus Rabbit or something like that. So for anybody just tuning into Tales of Arise, here's this uh, here's this story. Plus, um, also some new developments with it. So a couple like since the last time that I've streamed at all, I think I don't know, I don't remember. Um, but I uh, hello hello Twitch boy J. Maybe hope you're doing well today. I gotta use these freaking boost attacks. Hope things are going well and whatnot. Okay, Smackaroo. So, like, there was some training during the summer, but it was, like, in very limited access. Like, everybody had to wear masks. You, uh, couldn't really do any partner work or anything like that. Everybody had to, like, be social distancing while training. And our workouts were very light because, uh... Oh, hey, look, it's our thing. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do it a bit early, but it's whatever. Um... So... Our workouts are pretty light as well because, uh, you know, you can't be breathing too hard in a mask or else you're gonna freaking die um, from exhaustion, essentially. So our workouts were relatively light in that time. So, like, I have done some training since COVID started, but not a whole lot. And then when restrictions got even more crazy, the school had to close down completely again for a little while. And things were even, even more limited access for a while after that. And it was a weird situation. I hadn't gone back since then, even though it's technically possible right now. So, my life has been kind of crazy and busy and all kinds of weird stuff lately. So, I figured, like, hey, pretty soon, maybe I should get into training again, is what I should do. Maybe it'd be a good outlet for me and help me freaking fix my life a little bit. I don't know. So, I figured that that's something that I should probably do soon. And I, with this semester of university, Stonewing Mantle. Who's that for? Who's that for? Stone wing mantle, huh? Ah, for Doha Lim. Okay. Neat, neat. Um, so I had some, when it came to university, I had looked into, oh, I already checked that. I had looked into a couple clubs that were happening on university campus because it's like, I want to make more in-person connections and meet more people and stuff. So I, uh, I found out that there was a Taekwondo club at my university. And I was kind of intrigued by that. And I figured maybe it'd be something that I should I should check out. Yeah, lurk for a bit before I lurk. I'll mention they suggest doing the Dragon Boss once you get to level 27 or 28. Uh, B Boss are highly encouraged because it gives the extra CP. Oh yeah, I'll go back at some point then. I'll go back to do that at some point. Let's see here. Um, so I was intrigued by this club. I was like, hey, maybe this would be my opportunity to like meet some meet some new people in doing something that I've been meaning to return to for like a little while anyway, you know? So after my lab this past week, actually, I uh, the lab itself had some issues where it's like the uh, projectors weren't working 
and because because these classes even though they're in person they have an option to be online as well there was like a zoom meeting where you know the lecture is being shown so because the projectors weren't working the uh, professor was just like or the ta was just like can you guys just um just log in on zoom even though you're here physically you could just watch the uh you know bigger text presentation on your own computer screens instead of uh <laughs> instead of on the projector here and I guess the microphone wasn't working either, and I could barely hear him. But like, I would have been able to like. So I was already struggling with hearing. That kind of, that kind of sucks. Um, but also. But also, I couldn't really reliably tune into the Zoom meeting for a long time because my laptop's battery freaking sucks. And usually, in most places that you could sit at in the lab, there, there's like nearby sockets that you can plug into for laptops and electronics and whatnot. And so I figured that there'd be one nearby where I sat down and turns out I picked like one of the few, I got one of the few places in the classroom that didn't have it so I couldn't charge my laptop. And my laptop's battery, I open up my laptop to do the lab for the day and it's like, laptop battery, 100%, estimated time remaining, four hours. Laptop battery, 99%, estimated time remaining, two hours. Laptop battery, 98%, estimated time remaining, one hour. <laughs> laptop battery, 96% remaining, estimated time, 40 minutes. <laughs> it's my, uh, it's my laptop nowadays in a nutshell. I really need to replace it. So, like, there's no way I could stick around for the whole lab anyway that I couldn't even hear. So, I figured that I'd just tune into the lab, like, later at home, the recording of it, of, like, one of the other, the other lectures and complete it at home. I'm old, like, I've got the... I worked on it for a little while and it freaking was a little bit difficult I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I got like a basic version of it working, I guess. Um, now that I've finished like this big assignment that I was working on, I can now use it as the framework for this lab and probably get it done in no time now, I should hope. While we have the orange bar, the orange bar, the blue bar here, I may as well do that. And I should do this layout as well for when we're exploring. But the other layout works better for battles. Gosh darn it, I know I'm screwing everything up here. Um, but anyway, I skedaddled a little bit early from that lab because it was that Tuesday that uh, was one of the few weekly days that this supposed Taekwondo club was going on. So, wow, the input buffer in this game. I do the thing over and over so many times. Boopity bop. Um, so I figured, hey, I'm getting nothing from this lab. I'll do it at home later and I'll go check out this Taekwondo club, see if it's something I'd be interested in and if maybe I can, uh, you know, make some connections through that. So, it took me a good while to find it, because, like, its room number and location was freaking weird, honestly. This is our first time seeing this one, I think. Oh, cool. Um, I don't know how I got into the air there, but I did, apparently, somehow. But eventually, I found the place. It was, like, in a basement of this one building, like, on one of the lower floors. And the entire hallway was just dead silent. I get to the room that it's supposed to be, and it's just, like, a locked door. And there's like no sound of anybody nearby. The entire hallway is just like complete dead silence, essentially. Like, clearly nobody's there. Clearly nobody's around. Like, I knocked and such, but nobody was there. So I skedaddled on out of there. I went over to went over to visit my Oma. As on my way home and such. Um, there's no fall damage in this game. I could just drop down. Wait, is that the way that I'm supposed to be going, or is it this way? Cause that's just straight up away. We. I messed with my head a little bit. Messed with my head a little bit there, and after that, like I looked at the schedule for like my actual main Taekwondo school, and it seemed like later that night one of the adult classes for the day would be finishing up as the last class of the day. So I figured maybe I'd pay a visit there and talk about returning to training. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade. The same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldaman and Sia of its enemies and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? 
That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables, too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Hmm, that's a pretty profound thing to say there. And if the middle layer is the right way to go for the story, then I guess we'll uh, do that one, like... Not hmm. right now. We'll do this one Something right now. Like, this way down here. You look like you're deep in thought. And I can continue my story Not after this exactly. thing. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. That's not being frank. That's being an... And forget it. Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up! I wasn't that offended by what you said, man! Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Ah uh, yes, one must be one must be proper. Oh my goodness, I'm never gonna be able to continue I just my story. None of you other Danons have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always Wouldn't one be put in so when he joined the Renans against the resistance? No. Like I was supposed to. <laughs> what about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danon slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. 
One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman. And this is my chance to have a new beginning. I am never going to be able to continue my story. There's another one. This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves, often in great numbers. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, that's important to keep in mind in our world as well. Ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. Even if it's not, you know, through the same I kind of means. In a perfect world, you I can't just ask like, oh, why doesn't the city just the fix this? The work. Like the bazillion However, potholes we have in our city. Dangerous, like it is here. It's more complicated than that. Oh, it would be nice if they fixed the bazillion potholes that were here. What you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. And it is those who can no longer bear that feeling that inevitably take action. Much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> What are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? <sighs> nah, just regretting I ever said anything in the first place. We're law. All right, now the now the skits are done. Right now, I think it gives a lot of skits of what when it gives a lot of skits of one, sometimes it gives it a three, but never seen four or more, huh? And one way, one way store is a really awesome looking dungeon, but you can only go there once you start a specific side quest, like that one way up where the mountain goes to a tower. And the cool thing about it is that you can see Red and Lennox guess behind it. Is this the way for the story? We're getting a cutscene here. I thought you said the middle way was the way for the hey, story. Let's stop for a minute. What's up? Are you tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... For you. For me, why? You were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. What? Then why are we with the uh -huh. Who even are Okay, you? well, hold on. Pause so I can switch to this layer. It looks like it fully restored us before this thing. I'm not gonna be able to finish my story. Oh my goodness gracious. That <laughs> the story doesn't end. Gosh darn it. Story does not get to end here. Mysterious swordsman, huh? Level 28. Am I gonna need to be higher level to take him on? I wonder. Boopy ba. My goodness, laws down already. And we've barely dented him. 
Oh my goodness, do we need to uh, grind before this? There's something here? Uh oh. Stop. Stop. What the hell? Maybe we don't need to bring his HP down like all the way, just part of the way. I don't know, maybe? Maybe? Come on, do the thing. Do the thing! I was holding a button! Do, do the mystic art! Alpha, you piece of crap! But yeah, can't beat him, but you can't lose either? Can't lost either? What? I have no idea what you mean. I'm still gonna try my hardest. Still gonna try my hardest here. Okay, stop. He's still running right after me. Oh my goodness gracious. Should I just finish my story during here? I don't think I can concentrate on my story here. I don't think I can. Okay, we should be using our other boost attacks as well anyway. Is a thing that we should be doing. Thanks for picking me up. Thank you. Okay, well, we're back up again. Okay, time to smack a a bunch. Do the thing. Do the thing some more. <laughs> wow. So, uh... Oh, okay. He's really got schmoops. My goodness, the cutscenes of this game are really something spectacular. Is that all that you've got? Very well, then die. <laughs> Did she take out his eye? Okay, well, hit around it at least. Oh? A wretch like you? Shion, wake up, please. Alfin? <laughs> Shion. Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you fine. were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? 
Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I, I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Alfin? Sorry. I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure? Well, you're Elfin okay? existed and then despawned. Yeah. That I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine. Really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Niaz, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, We'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> All right. Well, that was a set of events. Is there a campfire nearby we can heal? Doesn't look like, but maybe we can. Uh, maybe there's no enemies coming up here or something. I don't know. My goodness. And take care of the Twitch boy, Jim Miggy. My goodness. I guess we'll have to finish our story during like the next whole bit. There's another thing. I don't. How are you I don't get the chance to talk. I'm Not streaming this hard, game, I guess. I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses, too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, <laughs> I can't feel pain, but you still can, can't you? <sighs> Look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... Why don't you tell her? Yeah, the freaking cutscene choreography in this is real good. Like, I mean, you know, it's really nice seeing like really well done, crazy over the top fight scenes, especially considering just a couple days ago, I decided to like spend some time like watching, uh, watching movies from the, with the family. And one of the movies that we watched two days ago was Star Wars, A New Hope, the first Star Wars movie made. And <laughs> looking back at something like that, uh, the fight between Obi-Wan Kenobi and, uh, Darth Vader, the fight choreography is just like the eh, eh, eh. Eh, like they're like it's both their first time wielding a sword. They're just like eh, 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 and that's all it was. So after seeing something like that just a couple days ago, and then coming here and seeing like the super crazy over the top fight choreograph choreography, that's like whoa, whoa, that's so over the top and cool and stuff. It's a uh, way better, I guess. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll finish our story over here.